Greetings, and welcome back to another Death Knight XP leveling farm. First, I just wanted to say thanks for all the support that you guys have been giving me over the last couple of weeks. And if you're enjoying the content, please make sure to subscribe for future videos. So today we're in Ice Crown, and I would only recommend this farm if you're level 78 or higher, as these mobs do hit pretty hard. And as you quickly see here, there's no shortage of these mobs, which is what actually makes the farm pretty lucrative. So I am level 80 for this, but to compensate, I did remove half my gear. So please don't leave me those investigative journalism YouTube comments. So for glyphs, the big ones that we're going to want here are glyph of disease for our pestilence, glyph of death and decay for more damage, and then the glyph of pestilence because those are going to be the main abilities that we're using. For talents here, we just want to maximize our AOE damage as well as our diseases. And if you're level 78, I wouldn't get the Gargoyle in the Unholy Tree, and in the Blood Tree, I would not get Bladed Armor. Alrighty, and now that we got that squared away, let's jump into the pool. To start out of the pool here, we're going to want to start with our Horn of Winter as well as our Bone Shield. Next, we're going to want to try to group up the mobs, and our goal is going to be to kill this big guy here first. Now, because the combo is kind of confusing, I will go ahead and put it up on the screen here. But the first thing you're going to want to do is use your Icy Touch and Plague Strike to get diseases. And then you'll use your Pestilence to spread the diseases and then follow up with the Death and Decay. Next, we're going to use Death Strike to keep ourselves healed, as well as Pestilence just to keep the diseases up. And when that first mob dies, we're going to go ahead and use Corpse Explosion, and we're just going to keep following that same process. So for the most part, these pulls aren't terribly difficult, but I think the tricky part is just knowing when to be healing yourself with Death Strike and when you should be spreading and doing AoE damage with your diseases. So once again, we'll gather up these packs and then we'll start by applying our diseases, spreading them with Pestilence, and then dropping Death and Decay. Then we'll use Death Strike to keep ourselves healed, as well as keeping our Blood Ruins on cooldown. And then once that first mob dies, we're just going to start Corpse Explosioning, which does a ton of AoE damage. And as you can see, there's really no shortage of mobs in the area. And I think if you were level 78, you'd be getting about 1,100 XP per kill. And when I was doing this, I killed about 85, 90 of these mobs in 10 minutes. So that's some pretty good XP that you could be getting out of this area. So that's going to about do it for me, but I am going to keep the video going here so you guys can see a couple of extra polls here. Now, if you do enjoy this content and you found it helpful, please consider liking and subscribing as it really does help me out. And I will see you guys in the next one.